CB News. I'm Jacob Bright. And I'm Isabel McCord. And today we have a new update on the Zanger Trials. We will interview Governor Cosby and John Zanger. That's right, but now we'll go to Carolina, our weather girl. And as you can see here, we have waves coming up, for, coming up from Florida going towards the East Coast. And they're going to be ending up in the, going towards Canada. So for you people who are on the East Coast, don't worry because the waves are going to be more in the deep waters. Back to you guys. Okay. Thank you, Carol, for that weather update. And now we'll go to Sarah for an inside look on the Zanger trial. I am at the John and Peter Zanger trial right now. And behind this door is Zanger being questioned himself. Why did you put that criticism in the paper? Which criticism are you talking about? So there's more criticism I don't know about. I didn't say that. Anyway, why did you put in a segment that criticizes me saying, and I quote, a governor goes rogue and does thousands of things worth paying. And because it is difficult to obtain relief against him, it is wise to join the roguery. I put that criticism in the papers because it's true. Uh! Well, this has been a very exciting news story. What are your opinions on it, Jack and Jacob? Wow, this has been an interesting trial, Jacob, would you say? Yes, but I still think he should have gotten some punishment for what he did. He needs to hold his tongue for his well-being. It could come back and bite him in the place under his lower back, above his thighs. It's very fatty, and he sits on it. And uh, Your butt? Yes, but, but don't say that on TV. Well, now to our sportswomen, Bella and Sarah. Thanks, guys. Our teams have been doing great so far in this season. So who won last night, Bella? Oh, you know. Um, that didn't answer my question. Well, um, the team who needed to win won. Uh, did you even watch the game last night? Um, no. Uh, I was too busy petting my kid. Okay, then back to the newsstand. That sums up our show for today. So we'll see you tomorrow on JSCB News.